Well, guys, life after Cam Robinson has officially begun. The Jaguars are back at it on a game that was supposed to be Sunday Night Football. Fuck you, NFL, for that. And we are playing... We are traveling to the land of cheesesteaks to play the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, heads up, I may or may not be at this game. Like, I'm going to be in Philly. Like, I already got a hotel. And, um... I definitely plan on getting a cheesesteak, and um, depending on how tickets go, I may or may not show up to this game. If I do, you'll get the vlog. If I don't, then you know you'll just get the recap and all that and all that stuff. And <clears throat> I believe my guy Desert Eagle said he had to work this week, so um, unfortunately, no Ebony and Ivory reunion. So um, shout out to him. Um. But as far as the game goes, I, I don't know what you want, what you guys want me to say to give you any kind of hope for this fucking game. We're going into a hostile environment to play the fucking Eagles, and um, they're peaking at the right time, and Jacksonville cannot find a way to win because of their shitty defense. Well, actually, I should say Jacksonville can't find a way to beat good teams because of their shitty defense. I mean, look at the game last week. I mean... We we gave up a game winning drive to a backup quarterback. I mean, what else is there to say? Um, <clears throat> the Eagles do have a fairly decent run defense, so I hope Tank Tank Bigsby can get some help in the running game. We are supposed to get Etn back. We might see a lot of him this day today, and or um Jesus today on Sunday because of the passing game. And um, but you know, if it goes like how I think it will. I'd anticipate Trevor Lawrence throwing this ball like 40 times. So, not what I want to see, but, you know, the fact we are probably going to be playing from behind because, again, our defense sucks. And, um, Trevor La and you know, Trevor Lawrence is probably going to have to play from behind a lot. And, you know, hopefully Brian Thomas is good to go. I mean, Gabe Davis, who gives a shit. But, um, yeah, just hopefully Brian Thomas is there. And, uh, use the tight ends. I mean... Evan Ingram and Doctor Strange both had very good games last week. Get them involved. That might be a good. That might be a good way to counteract the pretty good defense of the Eagles. And then, um, and and defensively, I mean, what the fuck do you even say here? I mean, it's our defense versus the plethora of weapons that the fucking Eagles have. I mean, Saquon Barkley, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. Jalen Hurts is their quarterback. I mean, what is there to fucking say? Um, Ronald Darby, I'm sure, is going to be on the field somewhere. So, I think the e I think the Eagles are pretty well aware to throw whatever side throw it whatever side he's covering and stay away from Tyson Campbell because for whatever fucking reason they won't start Montaric Brown over him. Brilliant, but um, yeah. It's fit. It's fitting the Jaguars still end up ended up keeping Doug Peterson around this week for his homecoming in Philly. Um, hopefully, they leave his ass there. But honest, but in all honesty, I don't know what firing this fucking guy does right now because you know, it's not like either one of the coordinators are any good and can take over. Like Press Taylor sucks. Ryan Nielsen is an abomination. It's like I don't even know what we do. And you got to fire everybody, like Trent Baalke included. So. I don't know what that does at this point in the season because, I mean, we're fucked anyway. So, I don't know. Who the hell knows? I don't know. Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll end up at this game. Maybe I'll be surprised and they'll fucking win. But I, do, I, I honestly don't anticipate it. Like, after the way Green Bay went, I just, I don't fucking know. But We'll see what happens Sunday. Let me know what you'll think and what you guys think is going to happen in the comments. But anyways, that's it. That's all, people. Spin your boy jagging off. Go Jags. Do vaults and let die. Go.